Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor and this is the demonstration for the 3D Tudor ZBrush IMM ZBrush Nature Pack. This will be the first of hopefully many brush packs from the 3D Tudor team when we get time to create them. So enough of all that, let's take a look at the brush set. Now I've set them up here as you can see, they look really great on a pretty low poly. It makes it really easy for quickly creating miniatures, for renders or 3D printing. All of the brushes can be subdivided and when you do subdivide them, they look even better. And best of all, when you actually load in the brush, you will see that they all come in exactly as you can see right here. No more hunting around for brushes or anything like that. All of the brushes are actually together and ready to use as soon as you install it. This means swapping between them is a breeze, of course. Now let's take a look at the brushes in action. So this is a model I created for actually 3D printing. It's actually going to be a lamp. So let's have a look and see what they actually look like on something like this. So the first one I'm going to look at is the moss brush. And you can see just how easy it is to actually bring in moss near the steps and things like that. And it makes just doing something like this an absolute breeze. So there's the moss brush and we can actually carry on going up the side of our building or something like that. Now let's take a look at our shrubs. So the shrubs will come to the front of the garden here and we'll drop a shrub in something like there, just down near the pathway, like so. Let's do some on the other side as well. And there we go. Now let's take a look at the leaves brush. So if we come under here, let's pull these out a little bit and have some leaves coming out under the door, like so. And then my next favorite, which is the ivy one. So let's take a look at that. And we're gonna have the ivy spreading around this rooftop like so. And just probably coming in between those roof tiles like so. And maybe going up to our little steps here. And then the final one, of course, is the actual daisies. So the daisies you could put into your shrubs. So if I come into my shrubs and bring out the daisies, like so, like so. And let's also see if they look good on our actual ivy, like so. So as you can see, it's so easy to actually add details and foliage into your actual uh, model now or your scene, ready to be rendered or 3D printed for a portfolio or something like that. So if you wanna get your hands on this pack, check out the links down below or go to my art station marketplace. If you're interested in modeling and are looking for full courses or to support my work, again, check out the links. Until next time, everyone, happy modeling. <laughs>